What's up guys and welcome to Geekborn. So usually I don't go over the kind of stuff that I pick up at the thrift store, but I was out and about, haven't been for a while. So I you guys have seen some of my videos, maybe if you haven't, go check out some of my movie reviews. You see a couple of those, you might see some VHSs that I have shown off here and there, show at the beginning of reviews. I have a bit of a VHS collection, pick them up all the time. Today I had come across some Bill Nye the Science Guy VHS tapes some classics like these are the VHS tapes I remember <laughs> you see the <laughs> the thumbnail the TV cart would come in and the teacher would be like alright kids we're learning about human genes we're learning about the genes today we're gonna take this out <sighs> no they're actually in pretty good shape they look awesome um, the only issue I have with any of the VHS's is they like ripped up some of the uh, labeling so that kind of sucks um, but I assume I don't know maybe there was some school information uh, or something on there that they had to get rid of at the time so I just thought they were super cool and I thought it would be an awesome opportunity for you guys to you know sit here and we could talk about some Bill Nye the Science Guy. So would you please, please consider the following. Now of course we all remember going through and favorite day of science class had to be when we're going through, we're having our time sitting there and all of a sudden teacher goes through, he's like all right pulls this in the TV cart or if you walk into the classroom you see the TV cart there because she already planned the day. She's like all right kids we're learning this new subject today, so we're going to go over through and we'll watch the video first, blah, blah, blah. And then that takes up, you know, most of your classroom time watching these, like, 20-some minute videos. Disney production, which I, like, I guess it just, like, went completely over my head as a kid that these were Disney videos, um, explains a lot of the production value and stuff, because Nye's Lab in the, <laughs> the videos... It's pretty good, a lot of elaborate. We get some like outtakes of some like things that don't necessarily work. And Bill Nye always had a fun way to go through and explain all these different scientific things. He the fun little experiments we could see. Now most of my classes we didn't do any of the experiments that they have in the episodes. But the cool thing I saw when I was going through these VHS tapes is the fact that if you open them up, like because these are for the school these are promotional ones like they have in here they tell you different things like hey this is the experiment that we went over uh, this is uh, how kind of how to do the experiment some different things in there um, it's just interesting fun kind of thing to go through um, I remember all of the like song parodies that we would have in almost every video that <laughs> try to explain the scientific thing through song and jokes to try to get the kids, you know, entertained. They're trying to keep us entertained. Are you not entertained? Just a blast from the past to see these. Um, I came across a couple of more that were there, but they were uh, some older ones that were in the cardboard. Um, I picked them up, uh, but I'm not going to be showing them off like these because I, I just love... I remember the packaging of these like I remember seeing these I just remember how cool they were how much I love seeing these as a kid in the memories that it brings back re-watching these listening to that theme song bam, 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 bam. oh my goodness and then <laughs> of course it's been years because epic rap battles has been around for years but I remember when weird Al was first one of the first bigger like names that were on one of their songs. Of all the scientific minds in history, they put Beaker and a bow tie up against me. And they had him as Sir Isaac Newton, and Sir Isaac Newton rap battled Bill Nye. It's hilarious. Got to give a shout out to Nice Peter for having a great portrayal of Bill Nye during that rap battle. Yes, it's true. What I used to do is teach kids science on my PBS show, but now I do. What I gotta do to make sure scientific talk can grow. You wrote a book on gravity, but you couldn't attract nobody. Do a work on orbit was exemplary, but your circle of friends was shoddy. No, YouTube legends, there <laughs> cannot deny that. It's. Uh, it's great to see, uh, of course, we still see Bill Nye. It's not like he's been gone or going anywhere. 
He's still the name of science. He's not doing, you know, he's teaching adults. I think he had a Netflix show a couple of years ago. He's, you know, always still doing things in the science community. So it's great to have him around. I was surprised to come across these just in the, uh, like, at the thrift store. I was like, I one of the first places I go when I go into a thrift store is the VHS section. Like, if they have one, I go through, I look there on their shelves or whatever. They actually moved it from a nice shelf because they started getting a bunch of books in because they had the shelves of VHSs next to the books. Uh, but they started getting a lot more books, so they had to move the VHSs, so they're in this, they're in this like, wire rack. Uh, so they're just kind of, like, piled into this wire rack, and there's, like, a second tote. It's like a second tote full of VHS tape, so you kind of got to pilfer through everything. And I came across these. I came across a lot of Magic School Bus. Uh, I'm going to have to probably go back to pick up the Magic School Bus if they are still there. Uh, I just didn't have enough cash on hand at the time to pick them up. I just, But there was it, <laughs> it was a lot. It looks like a school had just gotten rid of a lot of their VHS collection. I mean, they still have like the code. If you can see, there's a little number on the back end of that. They got all that on the back end of the VHS tapes on these little stickers here. So they were obviously on, you know, a shelf somewhere for teachers to go through and be like, all right, it's video, blah, blah, blah. It's in our inventory. And this is uh, just to make sure that kids, I guess, and adults weren't stealing Bill Nye the Science Guy, or maybe there's a checkout system. You'd be like, all right, well, my class needs this video for this this class so we blah 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 take it out but i just want to go through and talk this nostalgia with you please if you remember comment some of your favorite bill nye the science guy memories down below um it, it was always a great day in science class like i said to just go through see the tv she's gonna pop it in put that VHS in that VCR and we're just gonna go on a scientific journey if you will with Bill Nye the science guy he's still the science guy you know it's always just be like you talk about Bill Nye he's like oh the science guy yeah that dude he, yeah the science guy the guy about the science yeah that guy totally catch us in the next video we have a movie review coming out for Stardust should be out in a couple of days and uh, we'll keep rolling on that barely relevant train some of us are born geeky you have a good one